1.5, I'm leaving Silicon Valley and you know, I'm gonna get mansions. Real estate is really a good hedge and good protection for your money mm -hmm. uh, versus the um, versus stocks. Stocks. Yeah, versus <laughs> stocks. The windows here are amazing. I can definitely say this is a very good place to live. Hey guys, good morning. I am vlogging from Irvine, California, Orange County. A lot of my subscribers and a lot of people who I know who live here in Irvine, they say this is the best place to live in California. And we've spent four days here. We came here for VidCon, one of the largest conferences uh, for creators and social media people. And I can definitely say this is a very good place to live. The biggest advantage of Orange County is that it takes 15 minutes to get to the ocean. My husband is swimming in the ocean. I don't think so, I don't want to do it. Kids did swim two days ago, but it's too cold for me. I'm wearing a booty. this beauty I was like is it a good place to invest in real estate would it work from the cash flow perspective let's find out four bedrooms three bathrooms almost 1.4 million let's take a look Okay, the windows here are amazing. Curtains. Look at this. The tub is right here, and your shower is right here. And this is your marina. Looking and browsing and exploring. A lot of people say that carpets are old-fashioned, they don't like them, but I like them because they make your place cozier and soundproof, which is super important if you have two small kids. I like this place, it's really nice. See, it's brighter. If you're watching from the US, uh, I don't know, like this is a very American thing, but a lot of older houses don't have any lights on the ceiling. Where I come from, we have lights coming from your ceiling. I'm glad that this house has it. It has lights on the ceiling. This is the view. It's okay. I wish, well, there was an ocean <laughs> or something like this. Uh, but it's so cute, nice. The question that you probably get a lot <laughs> in, this, in these market conditions, yeah. should I wait till quarter three, quarter four to buy, or doesn't matter? I mean, as we usually say, uh, you'd better buy and wait rather than wait and buy, because what we have seen historically happening is that uh, no matter what financial crisis occurred in the past, typically it takes about three or four years for the market to recover. Mm -hmm. So even if you bought at the peak in 2007, which everyone is so much fearful of, it would take you about two or three years, not only to get to the pre-crisis market levels, but mm -hmm. also even um, excel that level mm -hmm. and gain some equity. Obviously, some people also fearful of the rates. They think yeah. that they're way too high now compared to what we have seen, right? Like, like a couple of years ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, like even a few months ago. But uh, again, historically, if we look back, you will see that the rates we're having now yeah. is what the average percentage was in uh, previous decades. So what we have seen and experienced during COVID is, was something totally unheard of and unusual. Mm -hmm. So we, do, we shouldn't take that as a basis for comparison. Interesting, because a lot of people are like, I've seen this meme, I don't know if you've seen it, like there's this death knocking, yeah. it knocked on like the stock yeah. store, it knocked on Bitcoin door, yeah, and that's real knocking estate. real estate. Do you think it's gonna crash or? It's really hard to predict what's going to happen, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think anyone knows. I think people will believe what they want to believe and someone who really wants to get it. a deal, <laughs> yeah, you know, they, yeah. wanna, they will see the signs, they want to believe that, they, they will believe that the market is going to go down and I can get a great deal. But honestly, people who are getting great deals are people who are able to buy something and then wait mm -hmm. a few years. So we're renting an apartment 
and this beautiful, beautiful, modern, contemporary housing community that is called Spectrum. And what I really like, I'm comparing everything to where we live right now, Los Altos Hills, where if you want to go somewhere, you need to drive. There are no grocery stores walking distance where we live. There is no Starbucks or whatever. But here, it reminds me of Europe. Because you know, in the US, what I noticed, if you're in a residential area, you wouldn't really have a lot of grocery stores. They might have a plaza, but you would still need to drive or like walk for like 10 or 15 minutes, depending on where you are. Here, so I'm in, in the middle, this is like the main square of this apartment complex, supermarket, and they actually have grill. So Thursdays and Fridays, they grill here and you can buy food, which is like the best. I'm always debating like, why don't they create an apartment complex for like young people or people with families and have a real canteen there, like a university style where you can just grab a tray and get your food and not bother cooking and then introduce like a meal plan, just like for students. I love those student vibes because you don't have to cook. Anyway, there is a medical center right there. There's a beauty place there, Starbucks, everything one minute walk from the apartment, which is like, oh my God. And you might say, but Marina, I'm from Europe and we have this everywhere. I don't know, like in my country also, like where I'm from in Russia, you have a lot of apartment complexes with the stores. But again, in the US, this is not very typical. So I'm really happy to be here. And we also brought our kids because I'm this person who's like, I really want to be with my kids all the time. And uh, if I'm traveling for like two nights, I might not take them, but because we're here for five days, I'm like, oh, let's take our kids. And so our nanny can just take them anywhere during the day. Because again, if we were just staying at home, it would be super boring for them. But here they can walk um, to the shopping center and have fun and ride the carousel. This is amazing. By the way, guys, this video is brought to you by books. I've been reading this book that I highly, highly, highly recommend to everyone. It is called 12 and a Half by Gary Vaynerchuk. I've read all of his books. This is the newer one. And I've been using this device to read this book during my trip. The device is called Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus. First of all, this ebook reader has a large screen. Do you know this feeling when you're kind of reading like a PDF file and it has really small fonts, so you have to zoom in and zoom out all the time? It's not a problem with this device. It's very easy to read. They also have a split screen feature so you can take notes while you're reading. Or, for example, you can use this mode to open two apps at a time. And yes, this ebook reader comes with a pen. And when you write something, it feels like you actually write on a piece of paper. So for example, if you're reading a non-fiction book or you're studying, you can actually highlight things in the book and it would feel like paper, which is an amazing feeling because honestly, I get tired of screen time and this doesn't feel like screen time. This feels more like a physical book. And at the same time, you don't have to carry all the books with you. This model is equipped with an e-ink card to display with a color temperature adjustment and has no flickering. So you can read whatever you want, wherever you want, by the pool, by the ocean. You won't get the flickering and your eyes won't be tired of reading. The experience is just the same as if you're reading a real newspaper. The Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus is based on the Android 11 operating system. So you can install different applications from Google Play and have access to apps like Kindle, Kobo, Libby, and even productivity apps like Notion. A built-in Wi-Fi module allows you to use different services and Bluetooth makes it possible to connect to a variety of external accessories. You can use this ebook regularly and charge weekly. How cool is that? I highly recommend this ebook if you're studying or traveling or just for your daily use. Check out the link in the description. Thank you, Books, for sponsoring this video. Right now, we're gonna take a look at another house also located in Orange County, Irvine. When I was driving around here, I saw kids riding their bikes, everything's so peaceful. It actually looked like a gated community, but it's not, which is actually a great thing from the financial standpoint because gated communities normally charge an HOA, which can increase over time and you have no control over it and you might end up paying a lot of money for the maintenance of this territory. How much is this house? So this property is listed at 1.55 and it's been on the market for only a couple of weeks, which is an average um, amount of time that it takes to sell the property. It has been leased before at 4,200. 
So the cash flow, from the cash flow perspective, yeah. it wouldn't work. Right? It would not work. Historically, it takes about 10 years in California to double the value of the property. That, that was what was what has been happening past 35, 40 years, mm -hmm. um, considering the inflation, which is skyrocketing now. So the buying and buying and real estate is really a good hedge and good protection for your money mm -hmm. uh, versus the. Um, versus stocks stocks yeah versus <laughs> okay. stocks. yeah which, um, which a lot of home buyers got affected because that's where they kept their money for the down payment oh, yeah. and when it dropped significantly it Not crashed 20%. yeah so now it's kind of hard for the yeah. buyers to come up with a down payment wow, wow yeah this is crazy four bedroom two and a half baths 1.5 million Everything is renovated, pretty, but for me, this house is a bit dark. Like this is the only window in this big room. I wish there were more windows, but the view is nice. This is not a through street, which is a big advantage. Fireplace, balcony, oh, and master bathroom. Okay, I'm looking at this house and I'm a bit disappointed because I thought, you know, uh, 1.5, I'm leaving Silicon Valley and, you know, I'm gonna get mansions for this price. Turns out, no, I'm getting bigger houses, but still, like, I am looking for something that would be like, oh, this is cool. When we got our first car in the US, it was a retired police interceptor, uh, just because it was cool. So I'm looking, I don't even know, but I would know for sure when I would see the house. But right now I'm like, okay, this is fine but um, I don't feel the vibe here, if you know what I mean. What will be the top three districts in LA to look for an investment property? It, from the cash flow standpoint yeah. and safety. Yeah. I think what you're looking, what you need to look at is um, something called like secondary markets, mm -hmm. right? Because obviously that budget doesn't get you yeah. much. You cannot consider like primary markets <laughs> like, it's crazy yeah, points. yeah, you would, you would, you would imagine that you can get some. Yeah, I was, uh, as a kid, I watched this movie about a guy who got like a million, a kid who got like a million dollars and he bought a castle and like all of the yeah. sports cars yeah, yeah. and he was like almost bought Disneyland. <laughs> If I have a million, yeah, yeah. oh my god, I'm all set for yeah. this life. Yeah. Guess what? Not in LA, not in <laughs> California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and in terms of areas, I think you want to be close to primary markets. Mm -hmm. So for instance, you, if you cannot afford Culver City because of the average price point, then you should consider West Adams because it's an adjacent neighborhood. Mm. So whoever cannot afford Culver City will be moving to West Adams. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. picks up the market and increases the future value to mm -hmm. um, West Adams is one of my favorites. Then Eagle Rock, I love that area. By the way, guys, this is so, like people would disagree, but for me, this is so much better than going to Mexico because it's the same state. You can drive your car. You can have a kitchen, like if you're renting an Airbnb, you can have a kitchen that you're used to, California style, whatever. You have the same stores, people speak the same language, and you're used to everything that's around you. And still so feels like vacation. The only disadvantage here is too hot, but it feels like vacation. Oh. Wow, this is, this is rare. Like I barely see people with a camera. This is cool though. What do you think? How many people are this? Well, people who are so confident with a camera outside, I think at least 100,000. I think 300,000. 300,000, like at least 100,000. Is this a line? Oh my God. Wow, this is crazy. This is, is this from macaroons? Wow, are they so good? 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Come back on Monday, there is no line! Are you serious? Are you serious? This is crazy. Okay. But I would say this is very American. <laughs> if people like something, they're gonna stand in line for hours to get it. Dedication. So I'm looking at this place on Yelp. Yes, it's great. 4.5 stars, over a thousand reviews. But it's like, I don't know. Would I stand in line for two hours for this? I'm not sure. Or this. This maybe. Like if it's a bear, then maybe. But the regular don't. Oh, this is cute. The question was... Would you live here? No. Why? I think that's a great place for vacation, but still for us Silicon Valley is the best place because there is nothing else in terms of uh, developing you as entrepreneur as Silicon Valley in the world ah, but, but in terms of Irvine. Irvine I think that's a great place for vacation for example like you can rent a place here for 300 bucks per night and the experience that you have is like five, super cheap right it's a five-star <laughs> hotel and it's way better than for example flying to Mexico uh, because here you have like swimming pool, gym, you have great food, a lot of restaurants, movies, etc. Like cinemas, and it's amazing. Is it even possible to be cash flow positive on a real estate investment? Hundred in percent on this area. Okay. Well, it's hard. Let's, let's talk yeah. about Irvine, yeah. Orange County, and LA. Yeah, if we compare those two counties, then obviously LA County seems to be more attractive from that standpoint because. Mm -hmm. um, we, we, have, we see way more property types there. You can buy duplex, triplex, or fourplex. You can live in one of the units and rent out the other ones. Okay, for 1.5. <laughs> yeah, for you 1. can still do that. Yeah, you can yeah. still do that. Oh, yeah. for, 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 there was one property in West Adams, it's a duplex, mm -hmm. uh, that got sold actually last month. They were asking 165 and ended up selling for 158. Mm -hmm. It's a duplex where you have one unit downstairs and another one above. How much does it rent for? So for each unit, you can get around, right now, in an as is condition, because the property needs some work, you can rent it out for about 37, 3800 for each unit. And the mortgage payment? If you remodel both, you can get, I think, easily 40, 200 for each unit, easily. Mm -hmm. So your monthly income would be about um, $8,000, let's say. And the mortgage is like seven? Uh, with the mortgage, yeah, about, about $7,000. Interesting. So that works mostly for, that helps a lot, especially first time buyers. Mm -hmm. They live in one of the units. Mm -hmm. The half of the mortgage is covered mm -hmm. and uh, they have a good tenant downstairs nice. who, who also maintains some parts of the house. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. What about single family homes? Is it possible to get something for 1.5 that's going to rent out for? Yes, that's yeah. something that's going to pay off your mortgage, your property taxes. It's possible. Uh, you know, um, the one thing you can look for is homes around good school districts. Mm. That means that family is most likely going to rent that house mm -hmm. and they want something safe and obviously in a good neighborhood. Uh, so they, that yeah. usually covers your mortgage and all your property expenses. Mm -hmm. uh, in, La in Los Angeles County, um, if you buy up to two million, mm -hmm. usually uh, property, you, the return you get will cover all your expenses and you might get like 200, 300 dollars, mm. uh, you know. The thing is, because it's my first real estate purchase, I'm not like, you know, solely cash flow, whatever. I am also thinking about like, would my family and I move there, you know, just in case, because I want to buy something that is special, right? Because just investing in real estate, I could just hire a person or go to a mutual fund to give them my money to invest in um, in real estate. And this is what a lot of companies do for you. But in this scenario, I'm not like 100% investor. I'm also a creator who wants something that is gonna look good on video. I'm also a mom who's thinking, you know, what if we move in here? Um, so this is how my thinking works. I think basically, if you, it, it all depends on your goal. If you are planning on living there, in the future, then the criteria would be different from merely investment standpoint. Yeah. Because if you were looking at it that way, then you would consider, okay, like, is it close to the restaurant? Because it might get noisy, right? And you mm -hmm. don't want the tenants to be bothered, right? Yeah. Another thing to consider, okay, like, is there any development going on? Mm -hmm. Do they build any new townhouses? Because mm -hmm. that increases the value immediately. Mm -hmm. What is the what is the population? Like, mm -hmm. does it keep going up? Is, is it, does it keep going up or not? For instance, in Irvine, um, the population here in 2010 was about 200,000 people, now it's 320 mm -hmm. in a matter of just like 10 years. 10 years. It's a that's lot. Significant yeah. And yeah. that's one of the reasons why we see so many new developments here. Mm -hmm. 
that have been built recently. Mm -hmm. um, There's still a lot coming up. Yeah, and the average age here is like 36. Wow. It's very young. Mm -hmm. So Orange County, not the best from the like cash flow and yeah. standpoint. Yeah, uh, okay. When I just started my real estate investing journey, I thought, you know, if an apartment is good, if the neighborhood is nice, it's going to be really easy to rent it out on Airbnb. It's not that easy. There are so many rules around it. And let's talk a little bit about Airbnb. How, like, I know for some people it's their core business. Yeah. What do you think about Airbnb in LA or Orange County area? It's much tougher in Orange County because of the rules and restrictions they um, implemented lately, especially here in Irvine. You cannot uh, do a short term rentals in certain communities at all. At all. Yeah. And because yeah. most of these homes, they're in communities that have HOA, mm -hmm. means that they're regulated and the management controls everything. You cannot rent out it or on Airbnb, no matter how um, attractive that might sound. Yeah. Um, in LA, there's still some good areas. The same in LA, there are still areas where you can Airbnb. Um, a lot of good places like Santa Monica, for example, that's very touristy. So you think you would do well with Airbnb, but you're not allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, Which areas are still uh, available? Hollywood, some parts of it, uh, East, East LA. Mm -hmm. But you would yeah. say it's risky because they might implement a new rule. Right, so they, yeah. they might change that. You know, a lot of buildings, um, older buildings, when they were creating rules, there were, you know, no one was thinking about Airbnb, which mm -hmm. was like 30 years ago or yeah. something, right? Uh, but now, with Airbnb being so popular, they can change the rules. Mm -hmm. But they can also... Uh, they can change it other way, you yeah, know, they can, they can change, change it other way. way. So Hopefully if you have... Airbnb one, is going to fail. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but like, I think that, that should not be your main um, yeah. criteria when it mm -hmm. comes to looking for investment. Okay, so mostly long term. Mostly long term, preferably, okay. yeah. If you're wondering where I am, mm, I'm in Miami. Florida was on the list of destinations that I wanted to explore for real estate investing because Florida is the state where everybody wants to come and I love, honestly, like I love the climate here. I like when it's really hot and humid and the ocean is right here. So we're gonna explore. Uh, I'm gonna talk to real estate agents here I'm gonna create some content for you guys, uh, see some friends, and of course, enjoy time with my family. And of course, I'm gonna create some more content, what my budget gets me here, and uh, when I'm gonna be cash flow positive, would I be able to rent it on Airbnb or not? And I have a tiny bit of hope that maybe I will release a video with finally got a house of our dreams. But probably not. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram, Lingua Marina. See you very soon on this channel.